Bertine, welcome back. Now on Good Day, because of social distancing, many of us are working from home, we're going to school and staying connected with family and friends thanks to devices. But it's also important to take time to unplug and to step away from the digital world every now and then. Joining us now is brain health expert, Dr. Romy Mushtaq. Dr. Romy, good morning. It's good to see you. Good morning, Danielle. It's good to see you digitally through a screen, and here we are. So I'll take it. That's better than nothing. And speaking of screens, I mean, it's almost like, Dr. Romy, we can't step away from them, right? I'm on my screen working. My kids are on their yes. screen doing all of their homework, and not let alone playing yeah. on the screen sometimes. But what yeah. does all of this smartphone and computer use do to our uh, brains in terms of the chemicals in our brain? Yeah, Danielle, you know, we are living in this new normal where we are not at work popping into someone's office to say hello or I'm not doing this interview on the famous Good Day Orlando couch. Instead, we are spending all of our work and school and social time on the screens. And what happens when you're looking at a screen, the blue light actually uh, stimulates the back of your eye, the retina, and that creates this myriad of chemical changes in the brain. It's elevating stress hormones like cortisol cortisol and adrenaline and it's actually depressing the hormones you need in your brain to feel good and sleep good like serotonin and melatonin and here's the one thing Danielle you know those blue blocker eye glasses yeah. that'll help eye strain but that still doesn't prevent all these chemical changes from happening in the brain you know it's so interesting you say that because I want to use my 16 year yeah. son as an example his sleep schedule yeah. when I say upside down he's awake when I get up at 2 a.m. Mm -hmm. to go to work he doesn't sleep during the day yeah. now he sleeps during the day and he is up all night because of all the screen time could that have something to do with it because he tells me mom i'm not yes. tired now and i've been trying to figure out why that is why did his schedule get so turned around you know, Danielle, it's a great example. It's not only your son, it's both children and adults. It's when those chemical disturbances happen in our brain, we disturb something known as our circadian rhythm, our sleep-wake cycle. So here are some common symptoms people may be having is you need a lot of extra caffeine, even though you're just sitting around all day and feel like you're doing nothing and you still can't focus. You feel like there's too many browser windows open on your computer and in your brain. Your to-do list is multiplying and your thoughts are racing, you're getting really anxious, and guess what? When you try to sleep, no matter how tired you are, you can't shut off that busy brain. That's what sitting in front of digital screens all day does to our minds. Yeah, that is actually pretty yeah. great. That's exactly what he was telling me. He said he can't yeah. shut his brain off. Those are his e mm -hmm. exact words. So what can we do yes. then, Dr. Romy, to balance yeah. kind of the screen time as we shelter in place and we need to be on our computers yeah. and devices? You know, this is the discussion that I've been having with corporate clients about wellness at home. I start with teachers and bosses and say, could you trust that people are studying and working from home and limit the number of conference calls you're scheduling during the day to allow people a pause from the screens? But here are a few other things we do is I ask, could you take five minutes of digital detox every hour on the hour? I call it the Romy rake the leaves moment. You need to change what you're seeing, change what you're hearing, change what you're touching. So great examples of doing this is going outside and raking leaves, pulling out a few weeds, walking around the neighborhood with your dog without your music on. Other examples inside the house in case you can't go outside the house or it's, you know, late at night or too early in the morning is folding laundry, washing dishes, doing something that keeps your hands and your eyes busy. And here's the best part. If if you're really anxious and about to get on a conference call, I've been telling my clients, recite the alphabet backwards. It totally scrambles your brain and gets you out of that frazzled mode. All right, Dr. Romy, good advice other than the laundry and washing dishes, but I love you anyway. <laughs> I love you too, Danielle. <laughs> Dr. Romy, thanks so much for joining us. It is